In this video, we provide important information about the upcoming double payments for Social Security and SSDI recipients. Many people are wondering when the $1,900 and $3,300 checks will be sent out and we'll break down the exact timing so you know when to expect them. We'll also explain who is eligible for these payments, how they fit in with your regular benefits, and what steps you can take to ensure everything goes smoothly. We'll cover how these payments may affect your overall financial situation, what to do if you experience any delays, and answer common questions about receiving these larger amounts. Whether you receive Social Security, SSDI, or both, this video has the information you need to be fully informed and ready for the payments ahead. Stay tuned for all the details. For millions of Americans, Social Security is more than just a monthly check, it's a lifeline. In 2022 alone, Social Security helped lift over 22 million people, including seniors, above the federal poverty line. Without it, many seniors would struggle to meet basic needs. This vital program plays an essential role in ensuring financial stability for older adults, helping them maintain their quality of life during retirement. Social Security has been a powerful tool in reducing poverty, especially among seniors. Without this program, the poverty rate for older adults would have been an alarming 38.7%. Thanks to Social Security, that rate has dropped significantly to just 10.2%. This shows the critical role Social Security plays in providing financial security for millions of seniors, helping them avoid poverty and live with dignity during their retirement years. One of the most important features of Social Security is the Cost of Living Adjustment, or COLA. This adjustment is designed to help beneficiaries keep up with inflation by increasing their benefits when the cost of goods and services rises. Without COLA, Social Security recipients would lose purchasing power over time as prices go up. By adjusting benefits to match inflation, COLA ensures that seniors and other beneficiaries can maintain their standard of living and cover essential expenses. Before 1975, cost of living adjustments COLAs were decided on an arbitrary basis by Congress, often leaving Social Security beneficiaries without regular increases. That changed in 1975 when the Social Security Administration began using the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers CPIW to determine COLA. This system ties benefit increases directly to the rise in prices, ensuring that adjustments are based on actual inflation rather than political decisions. This shift has made COLA more predictable and responsive to the needs of Social Security recipients. The Cost of Living Adjustment, or COLA, is determined by looking at inflation during the third quarter of the year, from July to September. Specifically, the Social Security Administration compares the average increase in the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers CPIW from one year to the next. If prices have gone up during this period, Social Security benefits will increase by the same percentage to ensure that recipients can keep up with the rising cost of living. This adjustment helps protect seniors and other beneficiaries from losing purchasing power due to inflation. After seeing significant cost of living adjustments COLA in recent years, the forecast for 2025 is more modest. Experts now predict a COLA of around 2.5%, which is slightly lower than earlier estimates of 2.6% to 2.7%. While this adjustment will still help Social Security beneficiaries keep up with inflation, it marks a smaller increase compared to the higher adjustments seen in the past few years. The projected 2.5% cost of living adjustment COLA for 2025 may not be enough to keep pace with rising inflation, particularly for essential expenses like shelter and medical care. For many retirees, these costs make up a significant portion of their monthly budgets. With prices for housing and healthcare continuing to climb, this modest increase in benefits could leave seniors struggling to maintain their purchasing power and cover their basic needs. As a result, many retirees may find themselves facing financial challenges despite the COLA adjustment. In 2025, Medicare Part B premiums are expected to rise by 5.9%, which poses a significant concern for many seniors. This increase could potentially offset much of the anticipated cost of living adjustment COLA for Social Security beneficiaries. As a result, many retirees may find that their higher healthcare costs consume a large portion, if not all, of their COLA increase. This situation underscores the ongoing financial challenges seniors face as they navigate rising medical expenses alongside their Social Security benefits. Over the years, Social Security has seen a significant loss in purchasing power for its beneficiaries. Since 2000, 
the value of Social Security benefits has declined by a staggering 36%. This erosion means that the same benefits that once covered essential expenses are no longer enough to maintain a comfortable standard of living. As costs for basic necessities continue to rise, many recipients find it increasingly difficult to make ends meet, highlighting the pressing need for adjustments that reflect real-world inflation and support seniors' financial stability. Seniors may be facing disappointment as the upcoming cost of living adjustment COLA is unlikely to adequately counteract rising inflation and increasing Medicare premiums. With the projected 2.5% COLA, Many retirees might find that their benefits do not keep pace with the higher costs of living, particularly for essential expenses like housing and healthcare. This gap could leave seniors struggling to maintain their quality of life, as their adjusted benefits may not provide the financial relief they were hoping for. The reality is that many may feel let down by a system that is not fully addressing their needs in an increasingly expensive world. Social Security and SSDI are crucial lifelines for millions of Americans, providing essential financial support for retirees and individuals with disabilities. Recently, there's been buzz about the possibility of double payments coming your way. Imagine receiving not just one check, but two totaling up to $5,200. In this video, we will dive into when you can expect these payments of $1,900 and $3,300, how to ensure you receive them, and what they mean for your financial future. Understanding Social Security benefits is vital for those who have contributed to the system through their work. These benefits are designed to support individuals once they retire, ensuring they have some income to rely on after leaving the workforce. On the other hand, SSDI or Social Security Disability Insurance is specifically for those who cannot work due to a disability. To qualify for Social Security, you generally need to have worked for a certain number of years and contributed to the system. For SSDI, you must meet specific criteria that prove your disability prevents you from engaging in substantial gainful activity. Many people often confuse Social Security with SSDI, but it's important to recognize that while both provide financial support, they serve different populations and have distinct eligibility requirements. Understanding these differences is essential for beneficiaries looking to navigate the complexities of these programs. Double payments refer to instances where beneficiaries receive two separate checks in a single month or during a specific period. Historically, these occurrences have typically arisen during economic crises or significant legislative changes aimed at providing additional support to those in need. Recent discussions among policymakers have led to proposals that could result in double payments, especially as the nation continues to recover from various economic challenges. These payments are designed not only to provide immediate financial relief but also to stimulate the economy by increasing disposable income for millions of Americans. Let's break down the upcoming payments. The first is the $1,900 check, expected to assist those who may be struggling to meet their basic needs. To qualify, beneficiaries must meet specific income and eligibility criteria, which we will discuss in detail. The second payment, worth $3,300, is targeted at those in more severe financial need. This amount reflects a more substantial support level and is likely to make a significant impact on recipients' lives. These payments will be processed through the Social Security Administration and beneficiaries will receive their funds via direct deposit or check, depending on their preferences.